Hey Aquarius, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of January 23rd, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. Okay, remember these are general readings. Take with you what resonates, leave what does not behind. And also JackieTomlin.com for personal readings. And we are recording live today. So if you're here on YouTube, you will find that the um, chat room is at the bottom of the video. Okay, Aquarius, a Taurus may or may not resonate with you, okay? New money is coming into play, and some secrets are going to be revealed. Overall, you can expect some sudden changes coming in, okay? And then it's got like a natural flow after that. There's also a lesson that's been well learned, and some plans coming up for the spring. Hello, Jean. All righty, let's see what we have coming into play. This is for Aquarius. Aquarius, you're also getting the bonus read this week. I will probably be doing that tomorrow on the uh, new channel. All right. First card up, you've got the Knight of Cups, starting with an unexpected offer of love for some of you, a gift of flowers. We have the Justice card coming into play. Now, this is something coming in to restore your financial balance. And with that, we have the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands says, you know, um, movement. Movement on the home front. Someone moving in, someone moving out. For some of you, this is a um, movement in business. And I don't mean like changing jobs. I mean like your business may be physically moving to another location. Okay. And we have the full card energy. And the full card energy, you know, you're happy-go-lucky traveling, doing your thing. But it also tells me that you're getting ready to jump in something with both feet. You have the Eight of Wands here. Eight of Wands comes in with total happiness, total contentment, love arrows flying around. We have the Hermit, which is huge, okay? Because the Hermit says that you may feel scattered and you may feel all over the place, but the Hermit says, don't worry because you're on the right path. Trust what you're doing is what you're supposed to be doing for the time being. Then we have... The Five of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles is a spiritual as well as a financial blessing. Overall, counting your blessings. Now, Aquarius, this, this could be a, a new car for you as well. Okay. The moon coming into play with the divine timing. Okay. Now, when I speak to you about divine timing, it means things have to line up and fall into place. Okay. Now let's continue to go with this. We have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands relationship card. If I've got Aquarius out there in relationships, you're leveling up. You're moving forward with that relationship. But if I've got single Aquarius out there, this is going to be pretty significant for something new coming into play. Okay. So we're moving forward with these messages and we're going to start up top. Woo. Yes, all that just come out. All right. Thought I had another one turned over. Guess not. Okay. So what we've got going on, we have the King of Wands. King of Wands comes in with an Aries energy. Um, grounded, centered. This is you taking authority. You putting your foot down with the Queen of Swords. Okay. And the Queen of Swords, you could be dealing with a Virgo. This is someone with a sharp tongue, but someone coming in to offer some good advice. We have the Ten of Cups. Look, you've got both relationship cards here. Okay, definitely going to be significant. With the Empress, the Mother card, positive changes on the home front. For some of you, could indicate news of pregnancy. Moving forward. We have that Empress, and the Empress says, you're getting ready to hear from someone you have not heard from in a very long time, as well as that magician, Trump in your entire reading, says you get everything you want and desire. It's right there on the table before you. And on that full card energy, you've got the King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with the Gemini. Uh, something to do with money, but it does indicate uh, financial stability in its highest form. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Wands. 
Eight of Wands comes out with the Ace of Cups. Happiness and contentment based upon the new love life. New beginning in love. Okay, and with the Hermit card, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles coming in to play with a good business deal. And on that Five of Pentacles, on your financial blessing, the Devil card energy. I see jealousy here. I'm telling you, some of you guys are getting ready to come into, um, not come into money, but you're getting ready to get a new car, and there's some jealousy surrounding it. Ten of Wands says you're overcoming your obstacles, creating a new path and the better path. Well, you know, the Hermit says you're on the right path, so that's all that matters. The Moon card with the Divine Timing. Seven of Cups, okay. Aquas, you've got options. Options in many areas. So this tells me it's about divine timing and options. Therefore, this week of the 23rd, no quick decisions. Slow down. No decisions made in haste. Think everything through. And I mean that sincerely that you're going to regret something if you make a decision too quick. Okay. Okay. Four of Wands comes in with the Seven of Pentacles, working and gaining, uh, planting the seed, watching it grow. But this is also indicating to pay attention to your dreams. Dreams are going to be significant for you this week. And in the center of the reading bonus, we have the Five of Wands. There's some drama in the family, conflict. Someone's watching you. Could be a Taurus. I think I had mentioned a Taurus at the beginning of your reading. With someone's watching you, I think you've got a secret admirer going on. Okay. And with that, we have the High Priestess. That High Priestess says, good luck and abundance. Okay. It also says you're grounded, you're centered. That one jumped out, which is the Six of Cups. It's reuniting and reconnecting with someone from your past. So you're grounded, you're centered, and you're intuitive. But you're having a problem trusting your own intuition. Bottom line, you're reconnecting with someone from the past. And I really think you have a fantastic reading here. And I don't have a reason to clarify. So, I mean, go any further with it. So, we're going to end things there. Remember, JackieTomlin.com for personal readings. Logging off. Coming right back. Pisces. Last but not least, you're next. Bye.